Good morning everybody. I hope everybody's doing alright. It's Wednesday today. Uh, not so good outside this morning. A wee bit chilly. But hopefully the temperature will lift and it will be a better day that we can get out and get a walk for our exercise. I um, hope everybody's doing fine. Uh, it's not so good when you don't see the sun shining uh, as we did yesterday. But um, at least uh, it's dry I think at the minute. I uh, hope everybody's doing alright. Managed to get to Wednesday, so this is Wednesday, West Kirk Weekly tonight. And also the Bible study, if anybody would like to join in with the Bible study, let us know and we can give you the details for that this evening at 7 o'clock. <clears throat> and can I just say also, the Church of Scotland are looking for uh, people to help with a survey. They're particularly looking for people who don't have any online uh, facilities, so people who don't have a computer. So this is really the people who are listening to this call on the telephone or someone who you can pass this message on to. They are trying to uh, speak to a number of people, as many as they can, about how people have coped in lockdown without an online presence. So um, if you have a phone, uh, you can phone a number and they will call you back and ask you some questions. So hopefully we can maybe help out with uh, some people with that survey. Uh, I know that I am hoping that somebody already uh, has phoned them up and uh, we'll maybe hear how that goes and what they actually ask you. But if you're listening on the telephone, then uh, if you can give us a wee call, I'll give you the number for the Church of Scotland and you can uh, maybe take part in that survey and help out with their uh, questions. We have been reading from Genesis and we are on to Genesis chapter 12 which is uh, the story of Abram. Now I know we've had this story before uh, and uh, I don't think it will do us any harm, uh, fact, probably a lot of good to listen to the story of Abram again. Uh, we are working our way through Genesis and certainly we'll do that for a few more days yet. So we're on Genesis chapter 12. The Lord said to Abram, leave your country, your relatives and your, your father's home and go to a land that I am going to show you. I will give you many descendants and they will become a great nation. I will bless you and make your name famous so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, but I will curse those who curse you. And through you, I will bless all the nations. When Abram was 75 years old, he started out from Haran as the Lord had told him to do, and Lot went with him. Abram took his wife Sarah, his nephew Lot, and all the wealth and all the slaves they had acquired in Haran, and they started out for the land of Canaan. When they arrived in Canaan, Abram travelled through the land until he came to the sacred tree of Morah, the holy place at Seshem. At that time, the Canaanites were still living in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, This is the country that I am going to give to your descendants. Then Abram built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. After that he moved on south to the hill, country east of the city of Bethel, and set up his camp between Bethel on the west and A on the east. There he also built an altar and worshipped the Lord. Then he moved on from place to place, going towards the southern part of Canaan. But there was a famine in Canaan, and it was so bad that Abram went further south to Egypt to live there for a while. When he was about to cross the border into Egypt, he said to his wife Sarah, You are a beautiful woman. When the Egyptians see you, they will assume that you are my wife, and so they will kill me and let you live. Tell them that you are my sister. Then, because of you, they will let me live and treat me well. When he crossed the border into Egypt, the Egyptians did see that his wife was beautiful. Some of the court officials saw her and told the king how beautiful she was. So she was taken to his palace. Because of her, the king treated Abram well and gave him flocks of sheep and goats, cattle, donkeys, slaves and camels. But because the king had taken Sarah, the Lord sent terrible diseases on him and on the people of his palace. Then the king sent for Abram and asked him, What have you done to me? Why didn't you tell me that she was your wife? Why did you say that she was your sister and let me take her as my wife? 
Here is your wife, take her and get out. The king gave orders to his men, so they took Abram and put him out of the country together with his wife and everything he owned. Amen. And God bless the reading from Genesis chapter 12. So take care everybody, watch it outside underfoot. Uh, phone us if you need us. West Kip Weekly tonight. If you can do the survey, let us know. And apart from that, we will be back tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Bye.